All right, first vlog on the R6. So this has been quite a while since I've done one, so don't hate me for sounding like a retard. But this is SBF, street bike, street bikes forever, coming at you with the newest, latest, and greatest videos. And uh, actually today, I was going to talk about Apple products. You see, I have recently acquired a 2012 Rat Retina MacBook Pro. It's got um, eight gigs of RAM, 256 gigabyte solid state drive. Long story short, I got it off Craigslist and uh, I spent a grand on it. And it's a bad laptop, super nice. The display is amazing. And, um, but I get it home and I start using it and stuff and suddenly it's crashing like crazy and having issues. I'm like, dude, what the heck? And uh, so, I, this guy doesn't know where he's going. So I figure out what's wrong with it and basically the GPU is fried. It's coming off the, the logic board, kind of like how uh, the Xbox 360 was having the red ring of death, you know? Similar thing. Anyway, so, uh, so I go into the Apple store after spending hours and hours and hours testing it and I'm like, dude, like really this laptop is two years old, it's a 2012. I'm a loyal Apple customer, I buy all your products and I'm having issues with this. Like it, it's a thou like $2,000 laptop and I'm having issues and it's only two years old, like what the crap? And um, so anyway, I guess you could say my first mistake was buying it off Craigslist, but you know, whatever, that's what I do. Uh, but they tell me it's gonna be, first actually, first they tell me, oh, well, they run their tests. I'm like, well, everything seems to be working fine. So basically they sent me home saying my computer's fine and sure enough, it kept crashing. And so I was like, okay, my computer is most definitely not fine. And so, they told me to uh, that they could send it into Texas to get it repaired. It was 300 bucks, and at first I was like freaking out, like, "Are you freaking kidding me? It's two years old, and it's already having issues, and the 2012s aren't even known to have issues." And I was super pissed off, but um, but so that was my bad experience, and I'm like, just really like you spend two grand on such a high quality product. Yet here I am, having a bunch of issues, and it's 300 bucks to repair it. So, so I was super pissed off, but I ended up, you know, accepting the fact, and I sent it in. And basically, they replaced the logic board, so it worked again, just fine with, you know, gaming and whatnot. And they also uh, replaced the flip the fans, which is cool, because the fans weren't even coming on until it got really hot. And also, I noticed that there is a bad case of image retention on the screen. So in other words, when you sit on an image too long, it would essentially burn into the screen. And so I was like, well, that, that can't be normal. Like, that, it looks like crap, and it's not good. So they, they gave me a brand new, not scratched, brand spanking new screen. And I was like, yes, super stoked. I'll be right back, because this part's windy. Okay, I'm back with not a not so windy part of the road. Anyway, so um, so what was I saying? There was uh, okay, so yeah, I got a brand new display which I was stoked about because that means that it had a few scratches on it, not many. It was in really good condition, but basically a brand new display, and so I was pretty happy actually for spending 300 bucks, even though I was pissed off that it broke. 300 bucks is a good deal because if you think about it the logic board is like 600 bucks and then the uh, The display is like $800 so Really, it's not a bad deal, you know for it breaking, but it shouldn't have broken in the first place Oop, there's a cop. Thank God. I'm not speeding Because I normally do on this road <laughs> um, So yeah, that, that was my bad experience and I've had previous Apple products that I've had to send in to get repaired not usually for anything big, but but you know, I've had to send them in for just small stuff, so at least it got repaired. Another freaking cop, dude, jeez. Okay, I'm running out of light here, so I'm gonna make this quick. I've had other Apple products sent in, so they repaired it for free because they're usually under warranty. Unfortunately, my MacBook Pro wasn't. So I had a bad experience with them, and it kinda, kinda sucked that I had to get it repaired, 
but really Apple's not offering a bad deal by saying, hey, you know, send us, give us 300 bucks, we're gonna fix anything wrong with your computer. You know, you, you just, that's, that's really not that bad, you know what I mean? And so, um, so I'm satisfied with that part of it. And, um, and aside from that, I mean, I love Apple, like, Apple products for the most part. Like, I love my iPhone, it works great, and takes amazing pictures, that's what I do a lot of my pictures on is my iPhone, you know, and video, especially for motorcycle stuff. And, uh, and the MacBook Pro, the OS is awesome. I love Final Cut. That's why I got a MacBook Pro instead of another laptop. But, uh, so, I mean, other than that, I love them. It's just they need to make sure their crap doesn't break. And it's known that the 2011 models, the late 2011, have, like, major issues with the GPU unseating from the logic board. So, I know every manufacturer and company has their defects and the bad parts about them, but, you know, that's, those are my two cents, so, you know, keep that in mind when you're buying a 2012 or 2013 Retina MacBook Pro. And, uh, the other bad thing that you guys need to know that I didn't know is that they come with integrated memory, so you can't upgrade what you get. So, in other words, if you get the 2.3 gigahertz model for the 2012, it's gonna be 2.3 gigahertz, eight gigabytes of 1600 megahertz RAM. So eight gigs, 2.3 gigahertz is all you get. And uh, whereas if you get the, um, let's see, what's the next model? The, the 2.6 gigahertz, it comes with 16 gigs of RAM and you can't change it. So that's just something to, to know that I didn't know. And I was like, oh crap, are you freaking serious, you know? Like, cause I, I would have probably gotten the better model. Anyway, just a note. And I also heard that the solid state drive isn't upgradable. I'm not so sure about that because all it is is really a chip. You should just be able to stick in a new one. It's like a big, fat, long chip. But, um, but yeah, okay. So there's your Apple products review, opinions, whatever the frick. Um, let me know what you guys think. It's first moto vlog on the R6. I'm uh I'm probably sound like a retard. So uh so yeah. That's just how it is. And please rate, comment, subscribe. Check out my other videos. I just uploaded a top speed drag race with the Panigale 1199R, which is pretty sick. Got some good feedback on that. So this is SBF here to bring you Moto Vlogs going out. Just kidding, I'm back for a wheelie. There we go.